Okay, so a lot of you are, fam are familiar with a thing called Reddit. It's a website. Now, just to kind of give you a little bit of a, just in case to some of you who may not know it. Reddit, which is spelled R-E-D-D-I-T. Reddit is an American social news aggregation, content rating, and discussion website. Registered users, commonly referred to as Redditors, submit content to the site such as links, text posts, images, and videos, which are then voted up or down by other members. Posts are organized by subject into user-created boards called communities or subreddits. Submissions with more upvotes appear toward the top of their subreddit, and if they receive enough upvotes, ultimately on the site's front page, and if they receive enough upvotes, ultimately... Reddit administrators moderate the communities. Moderation is also conducted by community-specific moderators who are not Reddit employees. Now, you know, for example, you could type in a question um, about anything. You could sit there and say, hey, what do you think about this TV show? What do you think about Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, American Horror Story, whatever it may be? And you just have people commenting. It's almost similar to Facebook in a way. It has some similarities, but some differences. And they'll just give you their opinion. Hey, it's great. People will reply to that and so on and so forth. Now, why am I talking about this and why do I bring this up? Because I saw one of the dumbest questions just popped up on Reddit. Now, to those of you who are not fans of the show, you might think to yourself, oh, why is it a dumb question? It's just a question. Anybody who is a true Law & Order fan <laughs> knows why this question does not make any sense. Now, in my theory, I think that somebody just posted the question just to see what the reactions would be, just, just for fun, just for entertainment, so I'm not taking it that seriously. But if somebody actually really was curious about that, and somebody really said, I don't know. But here's the question. The question is, what if Mariska Hargitay left SVU? Well, let's see. Um... Let's see. Uh, she's been playing the role of Detective Benson since the show first premiered in 1999. She has been in every season. Right now, the show is in the 24th season. and She's been in every one of them. There might have been some episodes that she missed due to, you know, certain reasons. You know, you know, she got pregnant and had to leave the set or, you know, her character in the show. They wrote her and then she became like an environmental activist. And she was replaced by Danny Beck. You know, a lot of you are familiar with that. You already know that part of the story. But I just kind of want to read some of the comments on there. Now, keep in mind, I haven't gotten to all this yet. So I kind of want to go along as I do this here. Uh, one person here says, without Chris Maloney or Mariska Hargitay, I don't think the show would have survived. No, it wouldn't have. And even if it did, it wouldn't survive for that long. That show would be on life support. And eventually, in, within a season, somebody's going to pull the plug. Um, she could have been like Cragen and not appeared as much and slowly eased her exit, but not all at once. The TV show NCIS is having the same problem. Most of the cast members have been there from the start, or, free, or a few seasons have left. I haven't watched it in a while, but I think it's just the guy who plays Ducky, and Mark Harmon left, and Mark has wanted to leave for years. And then, that, and then so that comment section and the reply section talks about NCIS, which is a little bit irrelevant, um... Excuse me. This person here says, I'm glad everyone is leaving NCIS. I don't want that show to overtake SVU as the longest running primetime show ever. F SVU deserves that crown. You know what? I have a biased opinion on that. And my that biased opinion is I tend to agree with that. I mean, SVU is the longest running primetime on NBC. And yeah, they deserve it. It's, 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 it's up there. It's Now, we also have, we also got, Grey's Anatomy to worry about. It's not Grey's Anatomy without Meredith Grey. Okay, they're talking about other shows here. Not important. I'm not really thinking about that. Um, this person here says, each network has a show that has been on forever or needs and needs or should end. CBS has NCIS, ABC has Grey's Anatomy, and NBC has SVU, which compared to the other two still seems to have some juice left so it doesn't need to end. But if it does, it really wouldn't be that surprising if it did end anytime soon. I tend to agree with that for the most part. And keep in mind, obviously, Grey's Anatomy is a show that is not at all similar to NCIS or SVU. 
Uh, that's a medical drama. I don't watch it, but you know, I know people who do watch it, and it, it's been on a while, and it seems to be doing well, so good for them. Uh, I watch NCIS on occasion, I, not a lot, uh, but SVU I watch obviously all the time. <laughs> um, now, what does this right here say? Okay, that's some more stuff about NCIS. I want to get to some stuff on... Mar okay, here we go. Here's a person saying, to be honest, it felt the past episode they were trying to make the effort to have Finn take the lead, rightfully so. Finn, who's played by Ice-T. Deal is, no one who came after Maloney could replace the chemistry Olivia and Elliot had. They're trying with Muncie and Velasco, but the difference is with Muncie, we're learning more about Velasco instead of seeing any sort of partnership chemistry. Finn with the newbies took on more of a mentoring role and they barely gave him a love life storyline. So if Maloney didn't leave and Mariska did, it probably would have had the same effect as it did with Maloney leaving. The other thing is Mariska has been doing similar off screen work with charities as Olivia Benson has, which also contributed to why SVU became the Olivia Benson show, gained the show, gained more attention. I felt like they were trying to line up Benson taking over as chief from McGrath so she could stay in a reduced capacity with Finn stepping up. I mean, Finn did step up a little bit. He was detective and then he is uh, now he's a sergeant. Uh, Benson, who did an amazing job throughout the series. I mean, she worked her way from detective to sergeant to lieutenant. And now she's the captain. The original captain was Don Cragen, who was played by Dan Florick. He retired in, I think, what was it, close to the end of, it was like in season 14 or 15. Um, I think the show would end. They might try to milk another season without her, but views would go down and ultimately end, especially with JLH, which I'm assuming that means Jennifer Love Hewitt. Don't get me wrong, she did great on Ghost Whisperer, but as an SVU detective, I couldn't see it. Okay, so yeah, that is Jennifer Love Hewitt because she was in that show, Ghost Whisperer. And I think the only reason why that name was brought up, because I saw somebody mention earlier about, I think Jennifer Love Hewitt may or may not have thought about auditioning for the role of Olivia Benson. Ultimately, Mariska got that role. And so, I mean, hey, they both are doing an amazing job in their own way. I, I applaud both of them. Yeah, she only lasted one season on Criminal Minds, talking about Jennifer Love Hewitt. Um, this person right here says, I have a question. What do you... What do you think separates the OG from SVU in terms of people leaving? Uh, I want to say that that means, I, I want to say, I think they mean OC. I, I don't even really know how to answer that question because OC stands for organized crime, which is the latest law and order show that came out in 2021 with, um, that's uh, Chris Maloney's new show. He still plays Detective Stabler in there. Uh, the main bad guy was Richard Wheatley, who was played by Dylan McDermott. The guy was a criminal in every way, shape, and form. Um, I think the show is bigger than any one character. That being said, I'm very attached to Olivia. So personally, if she did leave, I'd prefer if they phased her out so slowly over the over seasons like Warner. Still mad Warner is gone. She was the medical examiner played by Tamara Tooney. This show could go on forever. It's not like sex crimes are ever going to stop. Even in a hundred even in hundreds of years when police are de-weaponized and victimless crimes are decriminalized and crimes of poverty are very scarce due to improved social programs, there will still need to be SVU type detectives. Yeah, that's kind of a point there. I bet there are still SVU detectives in the Federation in the Star Trek universe as an example of a society with no poverty, no money, advanced technology, universal employment, basically no systemic prejudices. Olivia is the heart of the show. If she left, that would be the end. I agree. At this point, if she did leave, that is the end. But also keep in mind, like one person had mentioned earlier, the show is in its 24th season. And many sources are indicating that it's projected to be the last season. But Ice-T had said there may or may not be a season 25. So my theory is if they leave season 24 on a cliffhanger, or let's say it, you know, anything like that occurs... You know, Mariska or somebody's going to come out and say, OK, there's going to be a 25th season. And then I think that for sure would be the last season. And they better not do what they did with the end game. They better close it and they better make sure that it's good closure. Do not leave any open questions. If there's a verdict, tell us what the verdict is. If there's a potential relationship, 
between two people. Let us know how that's going to turn out. Are they going to get together or are they not? Answer those questions. I think Gene Triplehorn and Cella Ward would be good. Okay, I don't know who they are. Cella Ward wouldn't be so bad. I liked her on CSI New York. Okay, so she was one of the people on CSI New York. I don't know who Gene Triplehorn is. I, maybe she was from the same show. I, I don't know. I, I didn't watch that CSI show. Gene Triplehorn felt like a copy and paste Olivia Benson on Criminal Minds. With that said, I felt like her character was bland and boring in Criminal Minds as well. Okay, so Gene Triplehorn is Criminal Minds. Um, if Mariska left SVU, the show would be over. This person said, I'd only stop watching if Finn left for good. If she had left, I don't think I would have continued watching. This one says, well, they didn't meet Chris Maloney's contract demands, so it didn't happen. No sense in speculating what 12 more seasons of a television show would have been like. Yeah, th this show's not going to do 12 more seasons. They're in season 24. Mariska's not going to do this show for 12 more years. That's not going to happen. I could see maybe one more year after this, but besides that... So, I mean, people, you get it. It's like Olivia Benson is one of the most beloved characters on all of television, especially within the realm of crime shows. And anybody who's a fan of crime shows, you talk about Law & Order, you talk about Criminal Minds, you talk about NCIS, The Closer, The Following, you know, anything that's like that. Olivia Benson is by far, if not the most beloved, for sure one of the most beloved characters on television. Uh, Mariska Hargitay, who plays her, she, she just won the award for... Uh, drama tv actress of 2022 i think that that is well deserved she very much deserved that i mean her acting is phenomenal when i watch that show it's everything is just so believable you get sucked into the story you forget that you're even watching a show you're watching a story like you're just thinking like this is real this is happening um especially when it came to the real intense episodes like when it came to like william lewis and greg yates and Lowell Harris and, you know, people like that that she's dealt with before. And when it comes to that stuff, I mean, yeah, that, that is some serious stuff right there. That is. So, I mean, the answer is pretty simple. If Mariska left, the show's done. It's done or it would be on it would be on life support. The show is on life support and somebody else is going to have to pull the plug. But I think that she is that plug. So with her leaving and unplugging herself, that means that the show dies. That's pretty much all that is. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Nothing too important. Like I said, regardless of what happens, I'll continue watching SVU to the end. I think a lot of the episodes are still great. We lost a lot of characters over the years. Uh, some of them had quit on the spot, like Stabler and Novak. Elliot Stabler and Casey Novak, played by Chris Maloney and Diane Neal, respectively. Uh, Kim Graylick, who was called back to the United States Justice Department, who was played by Michaela McManus. Uh, Stephanie March, who left out of the blue, who was played by... Well, Stephanie March is the actress. I'm sorry, Alex Cabot is the character. Uh, you had some characters that tragically died, uh, whether it was in the line of duty or committing suicide or dying by some other means, like Benson's brother Simon or uh, Officer William Dodds. I'm sorry, that was Mike Dodds. William Dodds is the father. His son, Mike Dodds, he died in the line of duty. He was shot in the stomach. Uh, and then there was Ed Tucker, who committed suicide, who was the head of the IAB, Internal Affairs Bureau. And then some, some of the characters committed crimes and went to jail, whether they were main characters or recurring characters, which was like Chester Lake, played by Adam Beach, Dana Lewis, played by Marsha Gay Harden. She was the FBI agent. Um, and there was somebody else in there too. I, I can't th remember off the top of my head. It was somebody there. But I mean, the point, I mean, you get the point. So that's what happens if Mariska leaves. The show's over. So I just wanted to get that out the way. All my Law & Order fans, tune in. Tell me what you think.